Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, as you see, it's called oppression. The Muslims in here are trying to prove to us that Muslim women, they are not under the oppression and Islam actually gave the women their rights. against our religion, the religion of Islam. An accusation, in fact, a slander against our religion. That our religion oppresses women. And I intend here today, I hope to demonstrate, not only that this is a lie and a slander, but actually we will see who are the people and which is the nation and which is the ideology that is in fact really responsible for oppressing women? First of all, there's no doubt that oppression is something that everybody hates and despises. Nobody likes oppression. The use of the word oppression is a type of an offensive derogatory term. We know that the Prophet ﷺ said that dhulam, the oppression, will stand as darkness on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in the Quran that He does not love the zalimun, the oppressors. And so it is very clear that Islam itself and the Quran itself condemns oppression. And in fact, our noble religion orders us, and it is one of our duties and obligations to fight against oppression. And that is one of the very reasons why we are called to jihad, to relieve people from tyranny and from oppression. So oppression is not something that Islam tolerates. Oppression is something that this noble religion condemns. It is something, of course, that all human beings hate. So let us therefore define actually what we mean by oppression. Implicit in the meaning of the word oppression is the concept of denying something its rights. Now we're very used to hearing a lot about rights, especially so-called human rights. We hear often about people's human rights being violated. We also have animal rights. And different sections of society have different rights. So, we, in order to understand what oppression is, we have to make a further understanding. What is rights? What is the right of something? What does that mean when we talk about human rights? Or this is the right of something? Okay. The right of something means, it implies that it is something that is natural to it. So the right of something implies, and that is understood in its meaning, that it is something that is part of its nature. It is natural to it. Let's give an example. Now, has anyone seen the, f the film Free Willy? Okay, did it make you cry? Didn't it make you cry, that film? Made me cry. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, Free Willy is about this great big killer whale. And this great big beautiful killer whale is locked up in a small little compound for people's entertainment. Now of course, I don't know if any of you went and have ever been to see one of these killer whales or some of these dolphins put on display in these small little pens where they jump and they go through hoops and so on and so forth. And of course as little children we go and we watch it and it's all very amusing, isn't that fantastic? But a lot of people must go away thinking about how an animal, such a beautiful animal, could be confined to such a narrow space. An animal that was created whose natural environment is to swim in thousands of miles of ocean. And so without doubt, most people would recognize that this is a type of oppression. That this animal is oppressed. Because why? It has been taken away from its natural environment. It's taken away from what is naturally due to it.
We heard him saying clearly that if you take a dolphin and you put him in a swimming pool, this is an oppression because God did not create him to be there, and I agree. But just to show you how hypocrite the Muslims are, they are worried supposedly about the dolphin to be in a swimming pool which we're not supposed to be. <coughs> which means this is not his right place. But the Muslims, it is okay for them to put a woman in a garbage bag. You just said, and all of us heard him saying, that this is the, his, not, not his nature way of life. Is that a nature way of life? Did God create you with mask? Do your God Allah, when He created a, a Muslim woman when she is a baby girl, do Muslim women when they give a, a birth for a girl, for a female, she come with burqa? Is that different from putting the dolphin in the swimming pool? At least the dolphin still, still you know, still he can jump and he can, uh, you know, he can swim. Can this woman swim? The Muslim man, he can swim. I challenge you to say a Muslim woman, she can swim. So, the Muslim women have no oppression in Islam. The Muslim man can beat his wife. Surah 4, verse 34. Can the Muslim woman beat her husband if he uh, didn't listen to her? You see, Islam is against oppression. So, the women, she have to be contained inside a garbage bag. The women she can get beating. Not only that. The man is a full witness in the court. In the court of Islam, women is allowed only to be witness when there is no men and they are not equal to men. Two women equal to one man. And you are talking about Islam being fair to women and before I forget I would like to ask you uh, your majesty you know <laughs> who claim to be a scholar what a joker you are I'm not calling your name but this is a fact what is the reward of a Muslim woman in the heaven of Allah the Muslim man was promised 72 whore some people they say it wrong, they say whore. Actually they are the same because they are made for sex. And the 300 boys as a lowest reward for the Muslim man. Now what is the reward for the women in Islam? She will be one of the reward of her, of her husband. So the Muslim man will have 72 at least women created just for sex. 300 boys in the top of them, those wives. You see how, how there is no oppression in Islam. Why the man, he will not get equal reward for the women in the heaven of Allah. Even in the heaven, the reward is all of it is for the man. No reward for the women, by the way. The women, she will be there. This is her reward. To be in the heaven with the man. But she will not have a reward because herself she will be a reward for a man. Why your God Allah don't give equal reward to the women? Why he don't promise the same promise to the man? He give her 72 horny men. 300 boys. Why the man will get 72 horny women? The, the women she will not get 72 horny men. You will tell me because you know what you need to know who is the father in the heaven of Islam. According to your prophet, Nobody will have babies. False excuse. Jealousy, according to your prophet, there is no jealousy. Still the reward, all of it is for the man. And you are talking about oppression in Islam. The woman in Islam is not exist. She is just a sex toy. You Muslims, 
you are blind like your God. Muhammad is your real God, not Allah. Allah is totally blind. He is just a fake name. I advise you to learn your religion again. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. I mean, 